everybody, what's up? Killjoy Jake here, and instead of having friends, I have horror movies. Because a lot of people have been sending me some a certain screenshot of something that happened over the course of the past week or so, uh, I have a new Scream Theory. So we're gonna get into all that in just a second here, but first I'm gonna need y'all to like this video and subscribe for more horror content. Also, please consider supporting me on Patreon. The link for that will be in the description below. Alrighty, now let's get into it. What's your favorite scary movie? Well, I'm um, Pennywise. So I've had a lot of people send me this screenshot right here of both uh, Matthew Lillard and Emma Roberts in the cast list for Scream 2022. Now I saw this on Google when someone sent it to me and now it has since been removed. You can no longer see Matthew Lillard or Emma Roberts in the cast list for the upcoming Scream film, but it does make you question, do they have any involvement with this new upcoming film? There's been a lot of theories online about how Stu could come back for this new film. I'm personally against that. I don't think that it would make a whole lot of sense for Stu to come back, especially because because in the last three movies, the only mention of him was that he was dead, that he died in the first movie alongside Billy. A la Scream 3. We're gonna talk about the logistics of like Stu or like dead people coming back for a new Scream film later on, but first I just wanna talk theoretically about how Matthew Lillard or Emma Roberts could be connected to this project. Now I've theorized in the past before that this new Scream film would have a bunch of flashback scenes to sometime like in the 90s. Like for example, we see Stu's house in this new movie and it looks exactly like how it did in 96. Which, after seeing the trailer, we did see some of our, like, uh, new characters there at Stu's house, but it's still suspicious to me. I don't know if this was, like, a mistake or, or on their part or whatever, but the house looks exactly like it did. Like, it, like you traveled back to 96, you're at Stu's party again. That's how, that's how it looks in uh, this new movie. I don't know, it's bizarre. Maybe it's the situation, like, in Halloween Kills, where you have Big John and Little John, like, living at the Myers house. Maybe we have, like, another wonderful old couple living at, uh, the, at Stu's house from Scream. That would be cool. Sure. <laughs> why not? You can hear me talk more theories about Stu's house and why it's involved in this new Scream film in this video up here. But I think if we are getting any kind of cameo from Matthew Lillard, Skeet Ulrich, Emma, Emma Roberts, any of the past killers, it's going to be in flashback scenes from their previous movies. I've theorized before that maybe we get some kind of like flashback scene to the party from uh, 1996 at Stu's house and maybe we see a different perspective of that party that we never saw before in the past. That would completely change the way we think about the entire series. And of course set up something for this new film, which I think could happen still. I, I don't know if we're gonna actually see, like, Matthew Lillard in this film, like, doing a new performance, but we might get a soundbite from his character. You we could also see the same thing happen for Emma Roberts' character. Maybe something happened with her during Scream 4 that we just didn't know about until now. And once again, I don't think she actually came back and did any, like, lines or any performances for this new movie, but maybe they just stole something from Scream 4 and, like, put it in the background of this movie. Now, the logistics of Stu coming back into the- into a Scream movie, I would just have way too many problems with that, man. I mean, like I said, in Scream 3, they mentioned that Stu and Billy had been dead for years, so, like, it's just kind of a weird thing. You'd ha The only way that, logistically, you could work in Stu into a new plotline for a Scream film was if you ignored all of the sequels. And unfortunately, we know as a fact for this new Scream film, not unfortunately, I actually think it's pretty cool that they're uh, recognizing all the sequels in this new Scream film, and they're bringing something from all of those sequels all into this new film. Like, for example, in Scream 2022, you have characters coming back like that were only in certain movies coming back for this new film. Joel from Scream 2, Heather Matarazzo who played Randy's sister in Scream 3, Judy Hicks from Scream 4, they're all coming back for this new film. So there's just no way that Scream 5 ignores all the sequels, it's just not possible. In the future though, let's say theoretically in the future we have like a whole new trilogy of Scream films, Scream 5, 6, and 7, and like that's the, that's the radio silence trilogy of Scream movies. If they decide to continue the Scream franchise, which let's be honest, I'm sure they will. I think for sure we could see a sequel that ignores all of the other sequels and then is just a direct continuation to that original film. Very similar to like Halloween 2018, uh, the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. I think this is a very viable idea. It would be really cool to do that sometime in the future. You could bring back characters like Matthew Lillard. You could bring back Randy, Jamie Kennedy. There's so many opportunities for a Scream film that's just a direct continuation to the original. I mean like that kind of clean slate is something that this franchise could use. It's really tough to write 
write a story that has to be a continuation to four other stories, essentially. So I, I'm giving Radio Silence a whole bunch of credit for Scream 5. I think it's going to be awesome still. But if I was making a Scream film, that's what I would do. I would just have give myself a clean slate like that. Just do a direct continuation to that original film. You could bring back Randy. You could bring back Stu, theoretically. Now, we're going to get into real logical stuff here, though. Is it possible for Stu to survive a gigantic, bulky, like, super heavy TV from the 90s straight to the face? Well, I mean, probably not. But once again, don't forget, this is a movie. So if you wanted to stretch that a little bit, I'm sure fans wouldn't be too upset about it. I mean, it's not the first time this uh, this franchise has done something completely wild and out of the box that would not make any sense. This isn't even close to some of the shit that goes on in Scream 3, so I, I, would, I would be totally fine if they decided to do that in the future. But I guess kind of the sad truth of this video is that I just don't think there's any way that Matthew Lillard, Skeet Ulrich, Randy, or any of those other characters come back for this new film with having all of the other films canon. Trust me, I would love to see Randy back. I would love to see Stu back. Kirby, uh, Billy, once again. Who knows? Like, you could do so much with all these characters in a direct continuation to just that original film, but I just don't think Scream 5 is going to be that. But like I said, there is a silver lining here. Just because this new film is not going to be that, I think for sure in the future we could get a movie like that. There are many franchises right now that are just going to be like gigantic money makers in the future, and that's why like, all these production studios are hopping on these crazy sequels. A lot of people don't love them, but I'm a huge fan of like Halloween Kills, Halloween 2018, and I'm sure I'm going to be a huge fan of Scream 5. I'm predicting it's probably going to be one of the better sequels in this entire franchise. So although the production studios see these as money makers, I'm actually still pretty satisfied with them, and I think they're doing a really good job getting some of the better horror directors in the industry to take care of these franchises. I've theorized this about the Halloween franchise, that even after David Gordon Green's trilogy of movies, we're still going to see another Halloween film five years after that, for sure. I don't know if it's going to be five years, ten years, fifteen years, but Blumhouse is definitely going to do something else with that property, because they can, and because these movies make so much money. Once again, a sad but true thing, it all comes back to money with these studios, man, depending on if they're going to make another sequel or not. Considering how many views the trailer got for the new Scream film and how it's like the hype around this film is insane. It's like pandemonium around here on the internet. It's fucking awesome. I guarantee you this new Scream film is going to make money and it's going to do well and I, I think for sure we could see another film in the works sometime soon. And it's not like Matthew Lillard isn't interested in reprising his role as Stu. I mean, look at this tweet from last year. Matthew Lillard literally tweeted, I mean, it was just a TV, right? You'd think he'd survive, hashtag Stu. Dude. <laughs> I mean, Matthew Lillard would be so down to do that, I think. And same with like Skeet Ulrich, Jamie Kennedy. Jamie Kennedy has expressed that in some of his videos on his YouTube channel. So don't close that door yet on seeing that movie, because it could still happen sometime in the future. I just don't think Scream 5 is going to be that film. But anyone saying that this is going to be the last Scream film, I just, I completely disagree, man. The way that, like, uh, the movie studios are going nowadays with horror films, they want to just keep continuing these franchises that make so much money. Scream is one of those franchises, whether you want to argue with me or not. Scream's 1 through 3 made a shit ton of money. Scream 4 is kind of the blemish on the franchise, even though I think it's not the worst film in the entire franchise. <laughs> Scream 3. But I think for sure, if they decide to keep this franchise going, it's going to be a big money maker. It's not only going to be positive for the studios, but for us fans. There's so many different Scream films that I would love to see actually happen and like flat be fleshed out. So hopefully we can get Stu's return in a movie sometime in the near future, but I, don't, I just don't think this January is going to be that. What do you guys think about Stu and other like dead characters in the Scream franchise coming back for Scream 5? Leave me a comment about it down below. Thank you all so much for watching my new video on the upcoming Scream film. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more horror content. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Just look up Killjoy Jake and I'll come up. Please consider supporting me on Patreon. You can see more videos like this and I'm about to announce a whole bunch of exclusive content that is going only to Patreon. So make sure to check that out. The link will be in the description below. Thank you all again for watching and as always, don't forget to kill it out there, y'all.